Welcome back to Volume 7 of Captain Harold D. Marrero's River Stories. Today we're going to talk about the 98th Rose Bowl, which he was a participant in. Take it away, Cap. Well, the story goes back. I, I was Commodore of the Delta Queen, and as such, I was captain part of the time on the Delta Queen, about two weeks, and then I would go two weeks on the Mississippi Queen. And uh, then I would take two weeks and go home. <laughs> and uh, while I was there, the, the company uh, called me and uh, said, listen, we've got a request by uh, Farmers Insurance Company, big, huge uh, company in the world. And they want to come down and take some pictures of of the Delta, on the Delta Queen, and they want you to participate in these pictures. So I said, okay. So they they came down and they uh, had a young man and his mother. He was about 10 years old. He was a model. And he and I, they posed us at very, back by the paddle wheel, uh, up on the different decks, inside, outside, you know, and in the pilot house on the Delta Queen. And uh, that was it, the pictures were over. I didn't think anything else about it, but within a few days they called me back and said, they're going to use one of those pictures on the cover of their uh, company magazine, which they publish each month. And I said, well, great, and which they did, and it was, uh, it was a <laughs> nice picture of me if I say so mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> probably at my peak in life and uh, so uh, the uh, company then uh, they was having this uh, uh, in the tournament of roses each year farmers insurance company puts a float in the parade and they, uh, uh, the, the float this year, the theme for the float was a riverboat. So immediately, since we put my picture on the cover of their magazine, they decided that I should ride their, their they're going to make the boat the Delta Queen, and I should come out and ride it, which I agreed to. Well, I didn't know until I got out there that for every year, year after year, the uh, uh, farmers insurance company had the people that were heading up their float was these governors, and this is one right here, Governor John Ashcroft. I know you remember him as the Attorney General <laughs> of the United States. But anyway, he was going to be the big star, and I was just an add-on. So, but they was treating me really nice. They says, "We're going to provide you with air transportation out to California, and for you and your wife, and uh, uh, we'll uh, fly you out here and let you ride on the float." Well. It was, that was great, but what I didn't know was, and what when I got there, I was it was they was going to have me a suite next to the governor's. And when I got out there, uh, I, unbeknownst known to me, the governor had found out that he had received a copy of the uh, Turner of Roses magazine in which there was a picture, this is the, the only publication for, they sell these to all the tourists and everything. There was the Delta Queen inside, or the replica of the Delta Queen, and a nice little story underneath, and it only mentioned Commodore Harold D. Marrero, skipper of the Delta Queen, 
no John Ashcroft. So when he saw this, he was furious. I was told. And uh, they checked you out when they got that Patriot Act out there, buddy. Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> he said he's no friend of mine. Hey, I was supposed to be the star on this thing. Anyway, we it, we, it was great. We uh, the only thing is when they met us, my wife and I and my son. I brought my son with me at the airport. They met us in a white limousine. Took us to the hotel. I said, "This is wonderful. This is wonderful." And we got to the hotel, and uh, it was uh, looking forward to the big suite. I was looking forward to the suite next to the governor's. Yeah. And they said, <laughs> "This director of the company came, who came with me was taking care of all, all the details." I uh, said, uh, "The governor doesn't want you." in the suite next to him. So automatically, I was moved from a suite to a room, which I didn't mind too much. It was okay with me. I didn't care. You know, so then we, we went out and we rode on the float, and they put me on the front corner facing the street, and the governor was on the next deck up with his wife and two children, and they were like facing forward. And all of the TV coverage, when they went by the grandstand, was picking up the side of the boat, and they picked me up, mostly focused in on me waving, you know, back and forth. So I'm sure John Ashcroft doesn't care that much about me. But uh, it was a great trip. We. Uh, uh, one of the most exciting parts of the trip was when I was on the float, getting ready to, uh, well, I just gotten out of the car, was getting ready to get on the Delta Queen float. Well, one of the floats that was next to mine was a float that was put on by the Masonic, the Masons. And there were three guys walked up me and the one in the center was Ernest Borgnine. He says, I want to meet the Commodore. <laughs> he was one of my favorite actors growing up. Mine too. And it was such a privilege for him to come up and seek me out and shake my hand. And he had, and I wish I could remember their names, but there were two old Western stars, movie stars, kind of B actors, you know, on each side of that I I remember, but I don't remember their names. But it was it was quite a trip. So you uh, got another uh, article there you want to share? Well, I could tell about my first trip uh, going into Marietta. Well, not my first trip. The first trip uh, of the Mississippi Queen going into Marietta, Ohio. See, what was the date on this? Thursday, August the 29th, 1985. Anyway, of all the towns, and I've stopped at all of them, up and down the Mississippi, the Ohio, the Illinois, intercoastal, and uh, all the tributaries, the, the biggest thrill uh, the exuberance, or whatever you call it, of a town that loves riverboats so much, of the reception that we got when I took the Mississippi Queen for its inaugural trip up the Ohio when I landed in Marietta. When we started coming in uh, on the landing, it was pretty early in the morning, it was probably around 10 o'clock, and there was the high school band was out there, and it was playing, and there was several thousand people there cheering the arrival of this steamboat. And uh, actually, when we landed, and the mayor and all the dignitaries came out, and uh, they made me a, an honorary uh, commodore of the. The Skeegan River, 